Ukrainian official announces season of explosions in Crimea. Natalia Humeniuk, head of the Joint Press Center for Southern Operational Command of Ukraine, advised Russians who are used to living and vacationing in annexed Crimea to get used to air raid warnings and prepare for the explosion season. Humeniuk said that this year's warm season in Crimea has been declared the season of explosions, not just a resort. As she states, the occupiers need to get used to the sounds of air raid warnings in the peninsula. Commenting on the construction of trenches on the sandy beaches in the western part of Crimea, Humeniuk said, I think they will not go to the beaches. They have already played in the sand there. Their games will end there. It should be noted, Mikhail Razvazayev, the so-called governor of Sevastopol, said on the night of the 23rd to the 24th of April that the Russian Black Sea fleet was repelling a surface drone attack on the city. According to Razvazayev, Russian anti-submarine sabotage forces shot down one drone and another allegedly exploded on its own. The so-called governor has claimed that the drones were shot down during an outer raid and therefore no facilities in Sevastopol were damaged. Besides, according to Russian telegram channel Baza, a drone allegedly made in Ukraine with 17 kilograms of explosives was found in Moscow Oblast. The drone was discovered on the 23rd of April by a local resident. It was allegedly lying 300 meters from her house in a forest near Noginsk. As Baza reports, the downed drone was allegedly a Ukrainian-made UJ-22 airborne 3.5 meters long. It is assumed that the UAV ran out of fuel. About 30 briquettes of 570 grams each with explosives inside were allegedly found inside the drone. Baza reported that the UAV was probably equipped with C4 charges.